So let us continue with our discussion. We are now going on to the module four, where we are looking at harmony at the level of nature. And we are, this, this whole module contains these four set of lectures and the practice sessions. So right now, we'll be looking at this lecture 19, which we are going to, of course, take up in our own classes. So out of those 28 lectures, in which our whole content is divided as a full credit course. This is our lecture number 19. So in continuation with what we have been discussing, Bhuvneshwari ji has been raising hand and we are providing the mic, but I don't know why we are unable to communicate with Bhuvneshwari ji. The mic is there with you. If you want to say something, please unmute and you can put forth what you want to convey. Ji. So sorry, ma'am. Actually, it's automatically uh, unmuted. I'm sorry. But okay. Uh, okay. the previous uh, lecture, uh, the last lecture, uh, the content is uh, too depth uh, and um, uh, the type of economics uh, that can be called as a developmental economics. Some of it's, uh, I find some difficulties in understanding that uh, give, give economics, give, take economics take take economics so that i could uh, couldn't able to answer it correctly but i have given that it is out uh, of a naturally acceptable one i don't know whether it is correct in fact only that part is uh, i find it somewhat difficult so immediately i couldn't uh, grasp the points uh, because it is uh, too heavy the content is too heavy sometimes it's becoming too heavy Gee, that's why gee. in Sorry. fact as we as we proceed with higher level workshops the depth of the content becomes more and more at the introductory level the proposals are just touched upon but now that you all have been introduced to the proposals for the last one one and a half year or even more than that so with that exploration as your background we all are now ready to take it to a higher level and that's why to begin with just like the initial workshop you could see that so many proposals could not reach at that point of time which are now getting more clarity so all that is of course a process yes, that's uh, of course no it's very good uh, explanation actually we are getting so many points but what yesterday we heard we couldn't uh, Actually, we couldn't cope up with that because the current thing is going on. So we couldn't go back and recall that. So some models finding it difficult. So in spite of doing it again and again, in spite of attending that weekly meetings and also doing the classes with the students, if we give some gap, then the continuity is stopped. So then we have to go again and start from the beginning. So like that. Gee, so in fact, we can go through this part two once and then again, after some three, four months, we can again rejoin to relook at these proposals. So that yes, is a whole lot of possibility. Yes. Gee, gee, nice. So now let's move on to our module four, looking at the complete program to fulfill our aspiration, that is continuity of happiness and prosperity includes understanding of harmony at each and every level and living in harmony. So we are over these past, today's the fourth day, and we have more or less had two sessions in these four days. So now we are looking at harmony at the level of nature and existence, primarily at nature now by the process of self-exploration, we are getting more clarity about our own role, our own value in this whole nature, where we as human beings are and what is our role and responsibility. Now, since the beginning, we are trying to get more and more clarity about our own natural acceptance. We all have this natural acceptance to live in harmony. When I look at myself as an individual, 
I want to ensure harmony within me, with the body. As a member of family, I want to ensure harmony at the level of family. This is something which I want, something which is desirable for me every moment. As a member of society, I want to ensure harmony. When there's harmony in the society, there is fearlessness, trust in the society. So we can see that the desirability is to understand harmony and live in harmony at each and every level. Now let us check out, is there provision in nature to live in accordance with our natural acceptance? Can we really, right? Every time we go about asking these questions that look, the current scenario is much different from what we are thinking about. Is it really possible? Is it possible to live in harmony as an individual? as a member of family, as a part of society. So let's look at this whole design of this nature. Let's try to understand what is the whole design of this nature? What is inherent in this nature? Because as a human being, I'm part of this nature. So let's check out, is this coexistence, mutual fulfillment inherent in nature or the very design of the nature is by way of struggle, survival of the fittest, right? So let us take this reflection from you. What do you think right now? This is what we are going to take from our students also, their own perspective. Is there provision in the nature existence for living in accordance with our natural acceptance? What do you think? You can respond just like your students would be responding if you want to. Right? So we want to get more clarity about the very design of the nature. Is this nature designed with this at the background that there will be survival of the fittest? Do we observe that? If someone would like to share something, they can please raise their hand. It's a kind of discussion session where we can take up your viewpoints. In fact, as we talk about nature, there's so much to discuss. So you can just raise your hand so that I can provide you with the mic. So we can see the response coming over here. I hope all of you are able to put your response to this poll because the poll is about to end. And if any one of you would feel like, gee, Nirmala ji wants to say something, please go ahead, Nirmala ji. Good afternoon, ji. Ji. Na, uh, as per uh, the nature, uh, we are in the last level, that is four levels we had, no ma'am. So in the, we are actually exploiting the nature. We are not bothering about the nature and uh, we are uh, doing harm to the nature unknowingly. Everybody is doing so. We have to actually change our uh, view uh, that we have to love nature and we have to protect and preserve nature. Actually, as per the design, the nature is a good one, but everything we are doing harm to that. See, in a current scenario, last one month, two months back, there is no, <clears throat> the rainfall occurs more and there is no way to actually preserve the water and it is giving, uh, there is no other, what we can say that, um, the Vadigal Variam line, there is no uh, outlet to the water. So it is actually uh, creating harm to the uh, nature. Uh, we are, uh, what we uh, destroyed, we exploited the nature. We have constructed lots and lots of apartments. And uh, uh, the main aim is to accumulate the physical facility and to become rich. That is what everybody is there. So we have to change our attitude. Nature is, uh, we have to consider the nature and we have to uh, do good to the nature. Am I right, ma'am? Okay. So just like you are mentioning, we all do understand that we have done so much in wrong ways. Yes, ma'am. But this is something which is not desirable for us. In fact, right now, almost everyone said that, yes, there's a whole lot of provision in nature 
to live in accordance with our own natural acceptance. This is the response which we are getting. Right? So let us understand this whole nature of which we are an integral part so that we understand the inherited, inherent design of this whole nature. Right? Every time we keep saying our young children, Beta, it's a competitive world out there. Are we really asking them to be in accordance with their natural acceptance or we are giving them some sort of preconditioning which is leading to contradictions within them? So if I do understand the very design of this whole nature of which I am an integral part, I'll try to live with that. But if I just take information, right? I have so much of information right now. So with that information, if I believe that I have understood this nature, then I need to verify it. Right? So let us look at this nature more carefully so that we get more clarity about this whole nature and its very design, what is inherent within it. So when we say nature, it includes everything. Everything we look around, which is in the form of these units. Whenever we say unit, it is something which has a finite size, which occupies a finite volume, right? which has some boundary. That is a unit. So whatever we have around us, including us, all that put together constitutes nature. So this nature is collection of units. They may be small, they may be huge. So an atom is a unit and sun is also a unit. Air is a unit, trees are a unit, soil is a unit. All this put together constitutes nature. This is something which we can see around. And if we want to put them into category to develop our understanding, this is one of the ways of categorizing the unit. Just remember, this is not the only way. So based on what we want to derive as an information, we can change the categorization. But right now, I want to look at this nature with this clarity within me that I want to understand the interrelatedness between the various units of the nature. So thus, this nature is classified as these four orders. The plant order, starting from the physical order, which is including all the soil, the metal, everything which is around us. The bio order, including the plants, the trees, the animal order, and the human order. Now, let's check out, let us take response in the chat. There can be different ways of categorizing, but the way we have categorized it, is it that we have included everything in this nature or you think that something is left? If you find something is left, you can just put that in the chat. Whatever we have around us in this whole nature, we are putting it into these four categories. So many are saying, when we say universe, when we say galaxy, again, it's a unit, it is part of nature. It's a physical order. So it includes, when we say sun, physical order, it has got hydrogen, helium into it. So all that is physical order. Whatever energy we say, again, physical order. So we can categorize all what is there into these four categories. See, Sadhan sir wants to add something. G Sadhan sir, we'll take it quickly from you. G. 
Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, just in the previous two previous slide, uh, human beings are kept as uh, one unit, fine, but self is also kept in that. Ma'am, what is the justification of keeping self separately in that uh, you know uh, list of things? So, so just, let us yes, let, the previous one, the see. first slide that you opened. See. Ji, got that. So let us see. If I say that a table is a unit, will you agree to that? If I'm sitting on a chair and a table, now this table is a unit which is lying in front of me, right? If I go minutely, every atom of the table is also a unit? Yes, ma'am. A human being is a unit? Yes which is composed of, or which is said to be a coexistence of the two units, that is the self and the body. Yes. When I look at the body again, I can see that the body is composed of a large number of units. Yes, ma'am. Up to that, there is no problem. But so self, self, self is, is also a unit? No, that is a part of, as we, we know, that we are coexistence of self and body. Okay. Then human beings and special categorization of self is also there. So whatever is there in this whole nature is in is a unit. No, that's fine. Okay. So self is, we are telling where, human beings. Where is self, Sadhan sir? In in the in the first list that you displayed over there, like no, no, moon, I'm just, galaxy, art, and all others. Okay. Where I found that? Gee, I'm asking where is self when you look, when we say where? That is in human beings only? You see, ma'am. Gee. Yeah. Gee, so sun is a unit? Would you agree to this? Yes, that, that's fine. Hydrogen is also a unit? Yes, that's it. It's a subpart? So that's, why, the... that's why we haven't included hydro hydrogen over here. No, no, I can write hydrogen also. No issues. This is just to give few names. I'm not writing all the names. But again, ma'am, self is a conscious unit. So it's, can we place directly with reference to, you know, separately human beings and self? Gee, these are there just, is a purpose only to identify, okay, gee, that gee. may catch attention of our students, then, then well, gee. no problem. Gee, Sadhan sir, just, just let's look at it. Whatever is listed over here are different units which we see around. Right. So if a self is not associated with the body, it is yet hair in the nature. It's a unit. When the self gets associated with the body, a human being is there. Got it, ma'am. Thank you. I, I hope I've been able to help you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Got it. See. So we are just listing the units. They may be small in size, they may be big in size, but we are just listing everything. Right? We can just look around and see that all that can be put together into these four categories, whatever is possible in this nature. And this is one way in which we are categorizing, not the only way, just to ensure our own understanding. We want to focus on the interconnectedness, the interdependence. So in order to understand this, the mutual relation between these orders, that is the focus. So over here, when we look at these two distinct orders, the physical order with a different set of attributes and the bio order with a different set of attributes, we can see that both of them are mutually complementing each other. There is this interconnectedness, interdependence, so that both the units, let's look at the physical order, right? The soil, the air, the water, all that, is there to nurture the bio order. And the bio order, the leaves which decay back, right? The leaves may drop, they decay back. They are in turn nurturing the soil, the physical order. Both of them, both the orders are thriving with each other. So there is this relationship and this fulfillment within these two orders. We can just see. They're complementing each other. In this whole process of exchange which is taking place, 
it is absolutely cyclic and both the units are enriched so when we have soil with trees the tree nurtures and the soil also becomes fertile that is something which we see so we can see that the physical order and the bio order have this interconnectedness and interdependence and they fulfill their relationship such that it is absolutely cyclic and every unit is enriched are you able to make this little observation okay now let us go to the animal order we have already taken this as our discussion so we all are aware of this in fact the students which are coming to us they are 18 and above they also have this idea we have to just draw their attention that look within the physical and the bio order there is so much of interdependence and interconnectedness when we look at the animal order again if we look around the physical order nurtures the animal order right the animals are taking water they are taking oxygen so it is nurturing the animal order the animal order is equally nurturing the physical order they the fecal matter right it goes back to the soil whenever the animals the we have these scavengers right which which de which help in decomposing the dead decaying matter so that the soil is enriched right and the cyclicality is also maintained so we can see that the physical order and the bio order has this interdependence interconnectedness mutual fulfillment similarly the bio order and the animal order they also have this relationship this interconnectedness the the food for the animals is coming from the bio order and the animals right like we can just see right the the animals take care they they we can see the birds eating the pests so that the bio order can flourish so the whole design of the nature is such that all the three orders are mutually complementing each other are you able to make that general observation within yourself that there is this absolute fulfillment amongst the three orders and a forest completely unattended and intervened by humans is the best example do we really need to get any kind of irrigation plan for a forest what do you think is that plan already inherent or we have to create something let us look at some of the dense forests going to amazon or any any kind of dense forest where human intervention is practically zero we could see all the three orders nurturing each other none of them overpowering the other right it's not that even in the densest of the forests either the animal order will disappear or the bio order will take over everything or the physical order will take over everything all of them are coexisting they are showing this interdependence and interconnectedness thoroughly with this mutual fulfillment each and every unit is enriching the other so we can clearly see that in case of any forest where no planned activities so called by humans are taken and we see everything in absolute order in harmony every order ready to nurture the other and the very design of the nature is like this there may be different seasons so in some seasons the fruiting may be more there may be other seasons where the fruiting may be less but accordingly the animals go for hibernation right let let us be more careful about all what is going around so when when the temperatures dip the plants wither now they are not giving so much in terms of food but we see that the animal the requirement of the food by the animal order shrinks because they go for hibernation and after a certain time the trees are ready to blossom the physical order is now 
supporting more and more of growth and the animals are also ready to consume more and more this is how the cyclicality mutual enrichment is carried out throughout now let's look at the fourth order that is the human order now if i look at my own living i'm continuously using something from the physical order i'm taking in this air i'm sitting on a chair i'm using an instrument so this physical order is continuously ensuring its relationship with me if i look around the food i take right this oxygen carbon dioxide exchange which is being maintained by order is playing a very significant role we all do understand that if the trees don't exchange this carbon dioxide oxygen will we be able to survive so the bio order is also there with this feeling of relationship animal order also is there to fulfill the human order but what about us let us see the problems which we see in the current scenario be it raised level of carbon dioxide global warming melting of glaciers deforestation who has created all these issues the physical order is being depleted the bio order is being depleted the animal order is endangered let us check out some 2000 3000 years back when the human order was much lesser in terms of technology in terms of the so called modernization what was the state of all the other orders and right now we call ourselves educated modern and let's see what have we created are we really fulfilling for this let us check out what is naturally acceptable to us is it naturally acceptable to us to be mutually fulfilling or not what do you think we can take response in the chat do we really want let us ask this do i want to really create disturbance or i have this natural acceptance to be mutually fulfilling so we can see that our natural acceptance is to be mutually fulfilling but our current living is such that we are unable to fulfill so where is the gap what do you think about this if the human beings understand can they be more fulfilling can they be fulfilling for all the other orders or not what do you think let us take response from some of you would you like to respond to this any one of our participants जी संध्या सावे जी संध्या जी वुड यू लाइक टू इंटरेक्ट नमस्ते दीदी जी दीदी वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दिस बट द फैक्ट इज वी आर नॉट एबल टू फॉलो विलिंगनेस इज देयर बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू फॉलो इट्स नॉट इजी टू फॉलो आई डोंट थिंक सो कि अदर्स आल्सो मे नॉट बी नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस द अदर आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल विद टुडेस कंडीशन टू फॉलो इट Sandhya ji, let us let us look at the word understanding more carefully. Is okay. it that I understand or I have this information with me? I understand that I want I have to do this, so this is going to give us a betterment to the myself as well as to the society. If I understand, I live by that. But if I have information, I will share that information here and there. no i i i don't think so it's my information but i i personally feel that every time following is bit difficult 
So we are keeping all... it open. We are keeping it open to check that are we really understanding this inherent very design of the nature or we have these pieces of information with us, which we are not connecting with a holistic view. Right? So whenever I go to market and I end up buying even a simple little thing like a packet of chips for my child. Right? Now at that point of time, one issue is of course the health, the junk food. Apart from that, why are we producing something which is not really needed? Yeah, so are agree. we concerned? Are we concerned about that? Agree. And this we includes all of us. So, uh, with respect to that, my one uh, my one query was also was there in previous uh, uh, session that uh, last 40-50 years we were uh, self-sufficient and we didn't require this white collar job and we were uh, not behind that typical uh, same type of education to everyone and uh, the theory which has been put up that this can be changed over the 10 years, 100 years, 1000 years but the fact practical is within 50 years something other than continuous happiness and prosperity was predominant that everybody's natural acceptance was towards happiness. Still, that predominance has spoiled the, the whole era and the things has been forcefully for this packet food and all that has been forced to be accepted. So, isn't that feeling is much stronger coming? Maybe it's, it's a wrong sanskar, but it's a fact it has come. Ji, ji. Sandhya ji, things have deteriorated not just over 40, 50 years, but maybe some 400, 500, 600 years, slowly, one after the other. So if we go back to 100 years, we may find that people at that point of time, now we can see that they might be living better off in terms of being mutually fulfilling to all the other orders because they were surrounded by all the orders. Right? They, they used to live in a house which was shared by cattle, which was shared by so many other animals. The, within the house, we would have the bio order also simultaneously, right? And the physical order. So as we keep analyzing, we can see that these set of mistakes started way back. The industrial revolution prior to that. Right? Yes. So there's a whole, there's a whole of whole chain this just taking an example of some 30 40 years is just to get a glimpse but then we can just see that over the years we have been lacking this right understanding and with that even though we have natural acceptance to be mutually fulfilling we are unable to do so right, right. so, so right. it's now once we start imbibing it look how things change over time Whatever my grandparents could pass on to my parents, now they passed on to me. Right. Now what I will understand, I'll pass on to my next generation. True. And so on. Right. So if now I do understand that I have this natural acceptance to be mutually fulfilling, mm -hmm. I'll try to ensure that in my living as and when possible. Right. And the more... The more I refer to it, the more I become aware of it. Agree. Right? Now, now, we can just see, let's take a short-term example. So over last 10, 15 years, we all have turned to such a lifestyle where we just want to leave our houses without uh -huh. carrying our lunch boxes so that we can eat outside. Right? Uh -huh. now, now, this is the practice which we have evolved over these 10, 15 years. And our children are growing with this... Uh -huh. With seeing all this, right? So now their concept of kitchen running into a home will soon disappear if we don't check. But this is already there in uh, South Korea. There is no kitchen. Most yeah. of the hotels. So, so the let's see. Thing. Let's see. Are we are we happy doing this? Let's see. So if we don't check, the sanskar keeps building. Whether it is a cool sanskar, it keeps multiplying. But oh. if we start looking at it with this right understanding we start building up the susanskar the right understanding again it will take some time but that chain will stop yeah but Ji. okay i will explore about it Ji. 
जी इनफैक्ट वी कैन जस्ट सी we can just see what all we can do within our own capacity agree that i agree yeah, absolutely see in fact we can just see for one particular human being a grown up adult for full life four trees and the output of these four trees in terms of wood in terms of food is more than sufficient man yeah. let us see our own potential how many trees can we plant in our whole lifetime now are we really taking it to ourselves i can say that yes i can plant thousands of trees they die true very true ji yeah so, thank you nice so i hope all of you have responded to this poll and we can see that we all want to be fulfilling right so many of us are strongly agreeing that we want to be fulfilling to each and every order but it is this lack of right understanding which is leading to this we have this inherent desire to be mutually fulfilling to each and every once we are able to see this we start complementing beyond what is expected right for example this i can plant thousands and thousands of trees in my whole lifetime which means i can be mutually fulfilling to the bio order even though my requirements are much less just with four big trees all my requirements of wood are completely met throughout my life i don't need more than that so once each one of us starts understanding this ensuring this right understanding it becomes fulfilling for all of us now in order to understand each and every order let us look at their attributes their characteristics so when we look at the physical order the physical order has this recognition and fulfillment which means that for example if i take iron now the moment this iron comes in contact with moist air the iron recognizes the moist air and it rusts if the air is dry iron recognizes that the air is dry and doesn't rust so the recognition and fulfillment of the physical order is there and that's the only thing the physical order is doing recognizing its interaction with the other and fulfilling it accordingly so this recognition and fulfillment is there in the physical order it is there in the bio order too so when the soil is fertile sumati didi is asking is it iron iron was just an example of a physical order we can take any other example right so when we look at the physical order it is recognizing and fulfilling recognizing the other order or the other unit and interacting accordingly similarly with the bio order also the bio order is recognizing and fulfilling when the soil is fertile there will be more fruits if the soil is not fertile the tree may not be able to grow properly right so whatever is the surrounding if there is huge pollution the leaves may wither so there is this recognition and fulfillment which is going on in the bio order now when we look at the animal order the animal order is showing this activity of assuming apart from recognizing and fulfilling if we look at the animal body the animal body is just like the bio order recognizing and fulfilling so the animal body if you provide good food the body will be nurtured if we provide something which is poisonous it will harm the body so the conduct of the body animal body is definite simply recognizing and fulfilling but the animal is not simply a body there is this assuming activity which is going on within the animal so we can just see 
we can train the animals right we can if we get a pet at home and to begin with on day one the pet may not be aware of the name now i give a name to this pet so maybe in 2 3 days the pet gets to know that whenever this name comes i am being pampered i am being served food and the animal starts wagging tail as soon as i call out the name if somebody else is doing the response is changing the recognition and fulfillment varies so this animal order is when there is this coexistence of self and body within the bio order it was simply recognizing and fulfilling there is no activity of assuming right if you stand in front of a neem tree and keep calling your jasmine your jasmine will you get jasmine flowers it doesn't matter while putting water into the plant you show anger you show affection doesn't matter so the animal order is showing this activity of assuming indicating the presence of the self along with the body and it is this presence of self which is indicated by the presence of this activity of assuming so all those who have this activity of assuming within them are the animal order when we say human order this human order has this activity of assuming recognizing and fulfilling and there's a whole lot of potential for knowing so our self is more evolved as compared to the self of the animal because we have this whole lot of potential of knowing it's only we human beings who have this whole potential of knowing and understanding all the other three orders they are the way the nature have designed and they are simply following that very design of the nature but it is we human beings who have this whole potential of knowing so if we ensure right understanding we are complementing the other orders otherwise based on our assumptions we are either over evaluating under evaluating or otherwise evaluating ourselves as well as the other three orders for example we keep saying human being is supreme i can protect others isn't it over evaluation of ourselves we are part of this whole nature we keep saying we are going to protect this earth are we so we can just check right let us check out let us take some response from you what do you think which animals can be put into this animal order any idea regarding this i'll just lower all hands regarding this whenever we are able to associate a self with this activity of assuming we can put that into animal order shashikant sir wants to say something ji sir uh, didi uh, when i was just uh, comparing all these four orders i actually found the human order not uh, linking with the remaining three order in the sense that it is not behaving in the mutually beneficial way it Gee. is it is more selfish in the sense i i mean uh, human on the um, uh, on one side having a feeling of supremacy feels that he is there to whom all these remaining three orders are meant and it is only consumer who is uh, having its uh, need based uh, behavior with remaining three orders so it is neither complementing nor returning back anything marginally to physical order or to the bio order or to the animal order Uh, mm-hmm. so th- this is this is what uh, what was going into my mind when i was looking to the uh, fourth uh, order of human order 
जी सो दिस इज समथिंग विच वी आर डूइंग करेंटली बट इज इट समथिंग विच इज नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू अस डू वी रियली वॉन्ट टू डू दिस we should not actually uh, what is let us look right at our understanding own... and right feeling that is not correct we, we should actually otherwise we will be putting in trouble others as well as uh, your own existence ji ji so let us look at our own natural acceptance right if if we look at ourselves and refer to our own natural acceptance do we really want to be unfulfilling or is it that somehow we became unfulfilling we became uh, unfulfilling uh, because Ji. of some wrong Ji. conception Ji. so so some 200 years 300 years back nobody knew about the greenhouse effect right and they engaged with the industrial revolution engaged themselves and that's what we considered as growth and we started moving in that direction right yeah. so we can just see our natural acceptances to understand this very design of the nature to ensure harmony but when we lack this right understanding we are over evaluating ourselves assuming that this whole nature is to serve us very true uh, did Mean... i want to share one small example in my neighborhood i am Mean... from solapur maharashtra Mean... and uh, in uh, in a distance of around 100 km we have got nannas as one of the small village where great indian bustard uh, is found that is declared as the endangered species but for its uh, existence only one or two birds are there for their existence more than uh, 100 hectares of the land is now made uh, uh, not having uh, any developmental activity by the government so that is really causing a friction between human order uh, in that area and the existence of the last two birds of indian uh, uh, bustard ji okay. now these kind of situations are also there wherein we find it very very bad that uh, we are not understanding the importance of the animal order ji okay. in fact we can see that we try to patch up and put some sort of piecemeal solutions but they yeah. don't they don't work in long run Yeah. and soon we have to revert back to something else because the holistic vision is missing very true thank you didi ji nice meenu didi you wanted to add something to this quickly and ji didi didi Ji-di. i just wanted to uh, ask about uh, the possibility of self with bio order looking at the studies of jagdish chandra bose charles baxter and so on ji ji so let us carefully observe those studies they are talking about respiration they are talking about the nervous system right and Jee. it is this nervous system which they are referring to uh-huh. right but right now we are talking about this activity of assuming with which this recognition and fulfillment changes okay right so this assuming is with the self hmm. nothing to do with the nervous system the nervous system is part of the body right so okay. we we have few plants which will respond to stimuli hmm. like like the insectivorous plants yeah. and the other kind of plants hmm. but then it is their recognition and fulfillment which is definite which doesn't vary with assumption yeah right? i understood yes ji so the activity of assuming is associated hmm. or indicated by whenever there is this activity of assuming that indicates the presence of self with an animal that is an animal lord that is where the self is associated with the body ji 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 so whatever present day problems we see around all this is accumulated over so many years okay? now that we are facing these problems we can trace back that these problems which are here available we have contributed to these problems over the last 300 400 years of the so called development which we are trying to ensure for ourselves with that definition of development to be more and more accumulation of physical facility we have created the current problems which we see around like resource depletion like pollution right these are not something which we created in a day or so 
we we have been doing all this we have been digging the earth for so many years and now in the current scenario we are able to see the problems which are standing here but the kind of solutions we look for now are again piecemeal solutions without these the holistic vision without right understanding so are we able to see that these are mainly due to this lack of right understanding can someone who is not ensuring harmony at the level of individual at the level of family at the level of society contribute really to ensure harmony at the level of nature where to start from that is something important this right understanding where should it start from when we look at the nature the nature is designed in such a way that there is abundance for all so that all the orders can survive thrive on each other and we can see the quantity of the units in each order is such that the physical order which can exist without any dependence on any of the higher order is the most abundant so that it can be fulfilling to all the other higher orders followed by the plant order the survival of the plant order only depends on the physical order the other two orders are not needed for the survival of the plant order the bio order and in terms of abundance it is much more than the animal order and the human order so within this nature everything is designed with such a perfection that the quantity of each and every unit is such that there is abundance there is no scarcity if you look at the very design of the nature there is absolute prosperity can you make that observation we can take your responses in the chat are you able to see that each higher order is dependent on the lower orders for its survival so this human order which is at the top of the pyramid is dependent on all the other three orders the animal order the bio order and the physical order now if there is any kind of disharmony at any of these orders will our survival be possible now if we are creating disharmony within the very design of the nature that disharmony is going to be ensured within us too in the form of this contradiction unhappiness within us so if we are able to see that it is we who are most fragile and dependent on all the other three orders would we really want to ensure any kind of disharmony amongst the other three orders now as long as we are over evaluating ourselves that look i can take care of this nature so let us take the response from you what do you think about this and we can take reflection from you while you are responding to this poll ravin sir wants to add something ravin sir have been working close with nature ji ravin sir namaste ji namaste sir. namaste namaste madam ah definitely the higher order is essentially prosperity and uh Ravin sir, I am unable to get, and I am unable to get words from your side. Is it my issue, or 
इंटरनेशनल बार्ड सांचुरी Uh, particularly this uh, winter season the millions of uh, migratory birds they come from siberia lot of uh, across the world and they enjoy the winter uh, winter at uh, this silica lake and they again go away uh, 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 say, uh, this is a world famous uh, so sanctuary place and uh, do we go, uh, go and enjoy there uh, the beauty of nature but at the same time the people are uh, there the bird hunters are there they kill the people that is only due to for due to lack of uh, right understanding so very simple but they are killed and they Gee. sell no uh, in, uh, in, that, that in fact uh, this reminds me this reminds me of this little thing we claim that we created the gps and and we we are working with 4g 5g disrupting so many things and let's see these birds they are already fitted with this gps every year they manage to travel such large distances can we see that there are so many things which are already there in the nature and we we are trying to claim as if by technology we are creating it yes yes madam and uh, are we able to see this ah uh, yes yes madam ah uh, ji ji nice in fact since you have responded we can just see each one of us can clearly observe we see all of us agreeing to this that our survival is dependent on the other three orders it's not that we are supreme it's important for us to understand this interconnectedness throughout when we look at each and every order all these orders have a definite conduct it's only we human beings which have this indefiniteness which is due to this lack of right understanding when we look at the body our own body the body has a definite conduct it's a material so the conduct of the material is definite the only thing that is showing indefiniteness that's the source of problem is the self operating on assuming without knowing so the solution is to ensure this knowing part which each one of us is having the potential that is understanding harmony our inherent natural acceptance is to be in harmony so to ensure this knowing a human education sanskar process is essential because as a human being this education can bring about this shift this transformation so this is something which we can see so in this session when we discuss it with our own students we want to draw their attention towards this inherent very design of the nature which is in absolute harmony so the nature which constitutes these four orders is designed in such a way that there is this relationship of mutual fulfillment amongst all the four orders the first three orders are always mutually fulfilling for each other even in the densest of the forest the smallest of the bushes the largest of the trees the smallest of the animals insects and the largest of the beasts are together coexisting all these three orders are fulfilling for human beings and we have this natural acceptance to be fulfilling to all the other orders 
So our role is very simple. We don't have to create anything. It's already there. Our role is to simply understand it. To understand this harmony which is inherent in nature. And to live in accordance with that. So that the mutual fulfillment amongst all the four orders will be realized. And the nature has all that provision for living with mutual harmony. So when we are discussing all this with our students in our classrooms, they do come up with lots and lots of queries. So let us take responses from you with all this discussion and understanding. So let us take this first question. How can we find out if there is a self or not in any unit? So let us see. Okay. Rupali ji, would you like to respond to this? Ji, ji, ji. Ji. So we saw whenever self is there, there is this assuming uh, comes into the picture. So uh, 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 any other thing is able to recognize and fulfill, but the self is uh, able to assume, recognize and fulfill. So if we look at physical order or bio order, they are recognizing and fulfilling. So uh, that is how we can identify if a, if a unit is able to recognize and fulfill, but not assume anything. As in, you know, if I order that unit that you do this thing, or I train that unit for 10 days and ask uh, that, you know, when I say this, you, you have to come to me, to me, it doesn't follow. So that is how we can identify, maybe. <laughs> so, so maybe if the student says that, ma'am, uh, where to put the little fishes? Uh, the little fishes. The small fishes, which we see, it is, in, it is in a bio order who has self, like a fish has self. Um, uh, animal order, sorry, animal order, not bio order. Yeah. Let, us, order. let us check out these insects, these fishes. Where do we need to put these? Ji, Deepaji wants to add something. Ji, Deepaji, please go ahead. Ji. Yeah. If <laughs> If self is there, uh, assumption is there, assuming is there. But as you said, in the case of fish, small fish, no assumption is there, only recognition and fulfillment is there. So we can put it in by order. So in fact, we just need to draw the attention towards the way we have categorized these four orders, which may not be exactly the same we have been doing in our basic sciences. In the basic sciences, we have been classifying on a different basis. But over here, we have looked at the characteristics. We'll go into more details in this upcoming session. On the basis of that, anything which is associated with the self and the body is put into the animal order. So just like Deepaji just mentioned, that these little fishes or these insects, we cannot associate this activity of assuming with them. So as long as this self is not associated, it is simply recognition and fulfillment which is going on, just like within our own body. Right? If I just look at the body, now the body is simply recognizing and fulfilling, just like the bio order. So then that is in the bio order only. See? Bhuvneshwari ji wants to add something. Uh, thank you, Gita Didi and Vanjina uh, Didi for, uh, you know, uh, making this clarity, bringing this clarity. Ji, ji. Uh, Bhuvneshwari Didi, you want to say something? Ji. So, I'll just lower all hands and take up the second question. Those who want to put forth their reflection to this. In nature, the first three orders are already having definite conduct. Why does human order have to work for definite conduct? Why is it not automatic? Look, nobody is teaching the physical order, the, the bio order, the animal order to have a definite conduct. So why is it that there is a need? So, okay, Meenu Didi would like to take this. Ji Didi. Didi. So uh, Didi, I will uh, draw their attention towards assuming and knowing. So even though assuming happens with animals, uh, assuming happens 
in a more complex way when it comes to human beings and uh, the fact that we have moved away from our natural acceptance is responsible for the for not having a definite conduct because if we examine our natural acceptance then what we find is our natural acceptance is always for a definite conduct is that okay didi ji ji nice didi we'll hear from umesh tripathi ji also umesh bhaiya um there is a lacking of right understanding in the human he human want to maximize his profit due to this uh, there is a not automatic fulfillment it uh, human does not understand that it is complement to other units the main uh, reason behind it that he wants to maximize of maxim he wants maximization of physical facilities that's why he is doing like this ji 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 so when we are governed by the gross misunderstanding that i am equal to body i try to fulfill the needs of the self by the physical facility ji nice umesh bhai geeta didi Thank also you. wants Thank to add something ji geeta didi ji uh, didi yeah. didi here only human order just a minute ji so sandhya ji wants to add something we'll hear from sandhya ji first then uh, thank you didi didi i feel a uh, human uh, apart from what meenu didi and sir has given answer the human is uh, over the years having sanskars which are not guided by right understanding that cannot can be a one of the reason because of that others orders which are following the same thing over the years but humans uh, as sanskar has changed with respect to time and conditions uh, they are uh, in a uh, not in the same direction as the other three orders are there can we say that manner ji ji so let us look at it when we look at the physical order the bio order geeta didi i would you like to say something you were saying something at that time didi sorry didi ji ji yes didi here only human order didi uh, without um, they are making assumption without understanding didi so that is why they are having indefinite contact thereby spoiling rest of the three orders didi so uh, it is automatic didi if they have a right understanding didi ji ji so we can draw the attention of our students by letting them know that when we look at the physical order it is simply recognizing and fulfilling when we look at the bio order the bio order is also showing a definite conduct because it is recognizing and fulfilling now this self is associated when we come to the animal order prior mm. to that there is no association with the self mm. but for the animal order the self is only just selecting tasting right making for example if the animal is carnivore he is picking a certain kind of a food if the mm -hmm. animal is herbivore right so this mm -hmm. assumption is initiating over there but when we move on to the human being our self has this activity of desire thought and expectation mm -hmm. and and it is this desire which can be motivated by pre conditioning by sensations so when our assumptions are there without this mm. knowing part our conduct mm. becomes indefinite it's not the body whose conduct is changing our body too has the definite conduct but it is this mm. self which based on assumption is showing this indefiniteness mm. now we all need to ensure that our assumptions are guided by this knowing and for that we need to work on this whole education sanskar process so it is that a human being a human order is bound through this education sanskar and that's where one can work to ensure definiteness of conduct 
by working on our right understanding. Okay. Again, we can take one more query before proceeding. So in nature, we can see there is survival of the fittest. So doesn't it apply to human beings also that there will be survival of the fittest? Why are we saying that there is no survival of the fittest? Would somebody like to take up this query? Ji, Tara Prasanna sir wants to say something. Ji, please go ahead, sir. Tara Prasanna. Uh, sir. Yes, yes, my mic is now available. Ji. So uh, when we saw the pyramid, that uh, bio order uh, is the highest, and then animal, uh, your um, material order, then bio order, then animal, then human. So in that case, uh, human being has been having sufficient uh, availability of all physical facility. So uh, there will be no uh, uh, questions of uh, survival of the fittest. So uh, there is no question of uh, you know fighting for uh, the resource or the enough resource is available. So only that we need to have the right understanding to see that. Is it okay? Gee, gee, nice. Okay, Sadhan sir also wants to add something. Ji Sadhan sir, please. Yes, ma'am. As uh, sir has already referred to, this idea of survival of the fittest is not something that we can see in nature because nature is organized, is designed in a way that we have seen and we can demonstrate that very clearly to our students now. One thing is very important over here, that survival of the fittest, this very idea that, that has made or that has been given the effect of a slogan only under domination. So when domination is the environment, such ideas were published. This, is, this has no direct connection to design of nature as we have understood that we have enough abundance of things. Now see, in physical order, we have seen that these are abundant and in a bio order and also in animal order, we have seen that these are all in abundance for human beings to survive. So human beings need not get into this sort of uh, misunderstanding that survival is uh, that is only for the fittest. So that is one particular thing uh, with reference to uh, Darwinianism that we know. But Darwin didn't like to put survival of the fittest in that order. So uh, the focus was uh, something else uh, that has not been explored properly. And we are satisfied only with this sort of misunderstanding to carry on. Ma'am, this is the time we have to develop right understanding among us and among our students also, that this has no direct connection to that original design of nature. And that has been well demonstrated in this particular lecture. I think that would be sufficient, ma'am, for the time being. Later on, we can explore more on this. Nice, sir. Vinabaya also wants to add something. Ji, Vinabaya, please. Yeah. Namaste, Devi. Say namaste. Actually, when we see the uh, jungles, uh, they are, uh, the preys are killed uh, when they are not fit. So usually, uh, those who are fit, they get survived, and the other are getting killed. So. Can we uh, say that it is uh, there, that the rule of jungle, that it is survival of fittest? So if you are fit, you can survive. If you are not fit, you will get killed. So let us draw the attention towards the interconnectedness, interdependence within the nature. And let's check out in a forest, is it that only the fittest is surviving? Which means, can we have a forest with only lions dominating? Right? So, this survival of the fittest is a very limited view of God. The nature has this design which is showing this deep inherent interconnectedness. Yes, 
there are some selection rules which are there in the nature with the evolving of species but with that process of evolution right the species have been redesigned have been restructured so that they can integrate within this very design of the nature so when we are focusing with this perception that it is the survival of the fittest which is dominating everywhere we need to verify this assumption for ourselves are we as human beings able to ensure our own harmony is it something which is naturally acceptable to us and we can see for a human being what comes at a higher priority is it the relationship which comes at a higher priority or the physical facility so even if the mother may be dying of hunger yet will give the food to the baby so any theory which is being given is with that limited purview unless and until we extend ourselves to this holistic vision we might be concluding something which is another set of preconditioning which we are getting for ourselves so let us take this one more before very quickly one more response are the problems like global warming a result of human activity or only or there are some other reasons to it so let's quickly hear from rajiv kumar dubey ji would you like to interact <clears throat> ji uh, good afternoon madam ji uh, actually madam uh, on the uh, term survival of the fittest i would like to say uh, actually uh, if your survival is not according to in terms of natural acceptance then you are not able to fit in the society not able to fit in the nature also so uh, that uh, statement darwin's statement i think uh, but uh, those who is more closer to nature he can survive and if we uh, continue in terms of the natural acceptance in terms of the right feelings and right understanding then only we can survive so it is also applicable in case of uh, the other things also. so i think madam uh, uh, yeah darwin's theory not distract ours in the same way madam so we will we'll keep all this open for us and we'll continue exploring within ourselves right now it's time for the quiz